we are back with another love after lockup review today we're looking at rachel and doug and she likes some tall and dominant honey as you can see she's half his length she's about four foot something or another and yeah he's very dominant and i don't know if i like the way he speaks to her especially because his kid that's not her kid is living with her his girlfriend that he they met through they met whilst he was in prison okay so this is not somebody he knew from way back when and oh here take care of my kid no this is a new girl that he doesn't know anything about like they just met whilst he was there and he just put his kid there dumped his kid there under her her care whilst he's in prison so yeah i would i would i would tone it all the way down the way he speaks to her but he speaks to her anyhow and she loves it hmm it's madness let's cue the intro it's time for love after luck up, baby. So here we are. Let's go. So Rachel, 35, engineer. Doug, 28, a felon in possession of a firearm. So he got four years for that. Doing all right, though? So, so that's the sun. That's the son of the guy. He's called Douglas, and then, but well, they call him Doug for short, and then the son is called Doggy. She just comes in there, as parents do, step parents do, and she's like, You're right, Dougie. And he's like, Stop asking me. Don't know how often she does that. She's obviously, I think they didn't mention that she's a mom already, so it's her first time doing all this, and it was just kind of thrown into her lap. I don't think she was ready, ready for it, but next thing she knew she was a mom, had to act like a mom. I think for a while, the the son was going to his actual biological mom and then would come to Rachel on the weekends. But now he's been there for three months straight full time. So she's just trying to get used to all this motherhood stuff. Okay. It's not like she, he dropped a baby on her. This is a full grown kid. He's like 12 or something like that. Very articulate boy. But yeah, this is, this is a lot. Hey, sorry. I was hot. Don't say sorry. I was that big six foot five guy with all the tattoos. But inside he's just a big dominant a giant teddy bear. No. What was he in jail for? Again, he's in for felony firearms. <laughs> Whoa! Why is the friend laughing like that? He's for felony firearms. <laughs> she was, she didn't even giggle. This was a right, this was a laugh. But it could also be editing. I don't put anything past these people. Drive by. So it was a drive by. I just think it's so interesting how she said that. Drive by. She said it's so matter of fact, like, yeah, he's studying. He's got two PhDs. He's working three jobs. He's a father of four. We just bought a new home. My son just graduated. She just said it's so matter of fact with that nod, just like, oh yeah, drive by. <laughs> I guess people's tolerance standards moral codes and what they will accept in your life it's, it's different for everybody she's just like a hey, drive by yeah it was really bad but you know it, it is what it is and i'm okay with that <sighs> oh well doug is not the first convict that i've ever been with but oh well that explains that actually explains everything okay this is not the first inmate she's ever been with so she's okay with all all that comes with it then the other inmates probably did worse things who knows out of the three convicts that i have dated mm. now this oh this hold on a minute now we need to oh 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 we need to make this we need to make this bigger because this is his profile, you guys. This is the profile that she saw and she was like, mm, 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 mm. It says, hi. Let's zoom into what he actually says, okay? <laughs> it says, hi, my name is Douglas. This is the profile that she saw and she was like, ooh. Blah, blah, blah. So, hi, my name is Douglas. I've started this profile hoping I would meet new people and make new friends. I've heard really good things about this pen pal service from another gentleman. What have you used it? What have used it? What used it? Who used it? <sighs> so here I am. Okay. What have you? Anyway. Easy going and laid back. Focused on getting out and starting life over. Around here. I enjoy lounging around. 
reading and listening to music. I really enjoy laughing. I think of it like my daily medication. Physically, I'm six foot five tall and about 210 stone. Stone? Stone. I enjoy getting tattoos, so I'm covered in ink. Wait, it's not stone, is it? <laughs> it's pounds. Oh my gosh. I'm fried. Okay. Get it together. Get it together. Okay. okay. I enjoy getting tattoos, so I'm covered in ink. If you find me interesting, please write if you'd like to know more. Just ask. I'm looking forward to it. So this is the thing that got her all about him, okay? Um, Yeah, there are profiles on Bumble and the likes that are way better than this. And even they are dreadful. So, oh well, if she likes it, I love it. Doug is it, and the third one is the charm. Can you talk about Dougie for a second? Okay. Let Kamada has her own. As long as she's got um, someone like you to, you know... So her face already goes like this, which I don't know why, because she probably knows what he's going to say. But they want she wants to talk about his son for a minute, okay? And he says, as long as you've got somebody like you. And I was like, ah, oh, he's going to say, as long as you've got somebody like you, who is so caring and loving, everything will be okay. Thank you so much, babes, for taking care of my son, who I've dropped on you for no reason. Okay, well, probably a good reason. Now, if I remember correctly, his biological mom deals with abuse of the the things so that's why he's with her but yeah she's doing a great job doing that doing it with grace being very friendly very nice to the boy even though he thinks she's overbearing probably but yeah um this is not what this dog was gonna say as long as he's got somebody who's gonna baby him and feel sorry for him he's gonna continue to play that role too yeah why don't you try to stop uh, uh, baby him. What? What did he even say? Try to stop. Uh, why don't you tr go try? Why don't you go try to baby him, victim him into cooperating? Now who's boss? And then she says doggy bear. And if you look on the phone, he stored as doggy with a bear. There. He stored as doggy with a bear next to his name. So he's doggy bear. When he said who's boss, I thought he he wanted her to say, me, I'm boss. No. Now who's boss? Doggy bear. See, I was saying that, um, who was it? Josh from Courtney and Josh was going to be very dominant and domineering. This guy will be right up there with him. This, this is, this is not going to end well. I'm sorry. He's going to be very, very rude. Very, very overbearing. Doesn't give a hoot that she's taking care of his son. Not really. <laughs> Are you providing money? You that is in prison, are you providing money? No. I'm sure she too, just like Courtney, will sometimes not have hot water, yada, 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 just to pay for his whatever. Although she's an engineer, so she probably has cash. But yeah, they sacrifice a lot for these people to get you the commissary and stuff like that. And then you have a mouth to talk like that? But she's used to it. Third inmate, so I guess she's, she's cool with it. And she's laughing. The friends are laughing too. These friends should stop laughing at her because they're literally laughing at her at this point. They should stop laughing at their friend and knock some sense into her verbally. But be like, um, hello, this is wrong. This is what you always do. This is where you go wrong. Sometimes people can't see it and need somebody to point them in the right direction. Laughing at her, literally like, ah, ha, 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 like the, how the friend was doing. Like proper laughing, not giggly, not, no, not under her breath. No, proper outright laughing. She's okay with her laughing at her. The friend laughing is okay with laughing at her. Toxic relationships. I don't know. He's crabbing. She's like, ah, ah this is so domineering. Ah. Okay. Doug is controlling. He's a little bit of a control freak. He likes to bark orders. You think that that's cool and funny, but wait till that presence, that twice your size presence is standing in front of you. It can be, it will be very, very scary. It will be very scary. I think it's cute. It's just, it's just him flexing. That is not the definition of flexing. That is not the definition of flex. Fle it's not a definition. Okay. Call it flexing. You call it flexing. That is not flexing. That's being rude. That's being dominant and you need to run. So he's, he's, I've got the right prisoner this time. It's coming home. I've got the right prisoner this time. 
Wow, that's a line you wouldn't ever want to say. Soon. Mm -hmm. How do you feel so, about it? So that's a Dougie. I'm gonna punch him in the stomach for being a douche and not wanting to take care of his kid. Okay. I'm gonna punch him in the stomach for being a douche and I wanted to be near his kid or take care of his kid. And then I'm gonna give him a hug. And then I'm gonna give him a hug. This guy is very mature. <laughs> Although I don't condone violence, okay? In any way, shape, or form. But yeah. Yeah, he's just basically what he's trying to say. And you can get it from a child's perspective. He's like, look, I'm gonna let out my frustration, I'm gonna let out my anger. From my dad not being around all these years and me having to grow up because four so this guy was this little boy was eight when the dad went in you need your dad at that age at all ages to be honest but like yeah so he's gonna put out that frustration and at the same time he's gonna let him know that he loves him you know even if he's just saying it metaphorically speaking i get what he's trying to say here he's gonna have a heart to heart and then he's gonna love him like a son loves his dad and that's nice that's gonna have to figure out where he is. And here we have another tattoo extravaganza. She has Douglas with an interesting shaped lip uh, tattooed on her arm. Bright as can be. Bright as anything. And you haven't really even lived with this guy. You haven't done anything with this guy. You guys are not married. None of that. <sighs> well, I guess this time it is serious because I don't see the names of any of the other inmates that she dated anywhere on her body yet although they may be in other places but yeah thank god for laser surgery laser what is it the the stuff that blasts off the tattoo because all these people getting these random tattoos they're gonna regret it at some point in their life honestly in the future i do plan to adopt a and that's really kind of her also doug and i are thinking about having kids like asap they're thinking of having kids asap they <laughs> Slow it down now. I don't know about that ASAP. Just, just slow it all the way down. Because, uh-uh. Mm -mm. This is something that I've been waiting for my whole life. I know you want to pick that controller up so bad, don't you? Mm-hmm. So she wanted them to talk. And this talking that she wanted them to do, now he was playing the game. He didn't want to put it down. He eventually put it down. And then now they're just there. She said what she wanted to say. Now they just said they can't talk about anything. Else. Like, doo, 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 doo. You know, you could even just talk about, uh, I don't know. You can't talk about too many things, right? Because if you talked about things maybe at school or whatever, and they even bleeped out names, the people would know, the people in question would know that they're talking about them. So it would be a mess. It would be a mess. I, I do agree with that. So that's why their conversations always look just whack on all of these reality TV shows, to be honest. But yeah. awkward silence moment i know this is normal no it's not actually it's actually not normal at all to be j just sitting there like that it's somewhat mid conversation like as if you're gonna have a conversation but nobody really knows what to say so you're just there and he has a game that he wants to play but he's not playing it because you're there and you told him to put the controller down he feels like he's imprisoned and yeah but at the same time he she's having he is having a whole lot more freedom um this way than he would have when the dad is around because the dad is not the dad is very dominant so this is going to be interesting and they spoke about that and yeah it's like they've got a little routine going on and it's going to change when the dad comes home and stuff like that so it's going to be interesting in any case if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bum stomp as ah, on the subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think I like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell i'll share it i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow daily videos up in here in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right god bless see you tomorrow